Welcome back my friends. We're going to be doing today a uh, chicken wing recipe and we're going to be doing a sauce that I'm going to be creating from scratch. Basically it's going to be um, a little bit spicy and it's going to have uh, some lemongrass that I have been growing uh, for extra flavor. I'm going to be using uh, some sesame oil and um, we're going to get, off, get, get our wings cooked first. And then I'm gonna come back and make the sauce for you guys. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chop up um, some of my ingredients here. I have one stalk of lemongrass. I'm just gonna chop it up real fine. And if you guys haven't cooked with this stuff, I highly recommend it. Um, here in Florida, it grows like regular grass so I just found that out and since I have a garden I started um, planting it myself. I'm going to use three cloves of garlic kind of dice them up rough because this is actually going to go in the I'm going to blend this stuff up into a sauce. First we're going to saute it and then we're going to blend it. And I got here um, a serrano pepper I would have preferred a, maybe a smaller Thai chili, but this is what I had, so I'm gonna use it. If you guys don't want too much heat, then you know leave this part out if you like. So basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these ingredients now, and I'm gonna go over and um, saute them with my sesame oil. Okay, guys, so I got about one tablespoon of sesame oil here. Once it's hot enough, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my garlic and my lemongrass all in it. Sesame oil is going to give a really nice flavor to the sauce. I just want to brown that off a little bit, just to give it that saute flavor and let those, those flavors and aromas marry together for the sauce. It smells amazing right now. I wish you guys could smell it. And once you saute this for about a minute, to soften up everything and mix it together. We're gonna use about a quarter cup of soy sauce and let that heat up. I drop about a quarter cup of white cooking wine. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of sugar in the raw brown turbinado sugar. It's just gonna thicken our sauce, give it a little bit of a sweeter flavor. I'm going to cook that in medium heat for about five minutes. Okay guys, so now we're going to get our wings ready. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I got some coconut flour and I got some chicken wings from local Sam's Club. And basically, we're going to make sure that the secret to really good crunchy wings um, and the oven is basically gonna make sure that your chicken wings are dry. So I'm gonna take a, a paper towel and just pat the water out on them. These were previously previously frozen, so they're still kind of wet underneath. Then I'm gonna toss them around in the flour. I'm gonna spray down this bacon pan over here so we can cook our wings on them without having them stick. Toss them around the coconut flour. Then we're gonna arrange them over on our baking sheet. Just enough to have a little light coating so it'll make them even more crunchy. Add a little bit of that neutral coconut flavor. And we're gonna toss them in our sauce once they're done. I'm gonna do a couple of different sauces for these so you guys can try whichever one you like best. Okay guys, so now that I've coated 
uh, the chicken wings and the coconut flour. I'm gonna go ahead and move them off to the oven at 425 degrees. I'm gonna do them for 20 minutes and then uh, flip them over and then we're gonna coat them with our, our sauce that we made. Um, so basically this is how they look. They're gonna go in the oven. If you guys don't have coconut flour, you can use uh, baking powder or whatever else, you know, regular flour if you want to coat the outside. What that does is it makes it um, a little bit more crispy. I just like the coconut flour because it has like a really nice um, flavor and it's neutral and it's gonna go really, really well with our um, with our oriental um, style sauce. So we're gonna go and put them in the oven uh, for 25, 20 minutes and we'll be uh, right back to flip them. Okay guys, so while that's cooking over there, um, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna mix, um, we're gonna mix our, our uh, soy sauce and other ingredients in here in this blender just to make the sauce smooth. So basically we're just gonna take our ingredients Blend them up so we can toss our chicken wings in there. So now we basically have our sauce ready. So when our chicken wings come out, we're gonna toss them in this, and this is gonna add all the flavor. Okay, guys, so the coconut flour experiment didn't turn out quite like I hoped. So we're gonna resort to plan B here. Um, I have some hot peanut oil over on my wok, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and brown off these uh, chicken wings uh, just by frying them in the, the peanut oil. Uh, for some reason, the, the coconut flour does not crisp up like I thought it would, and it almost came out a little bit soggy. So now we're gonna crisp them up uh, just by frying them. So make sure you get your oil hot enough. And when you guys do this recipe, you can just actually skip the baking step if you want. So. If you do bake them, you can bake them at 425 degrees for 40 minutes without the, um, the coconut flour and it would just be just fine or just directly um, deep fry your wings. Alright guys, so ended up deep frying our wings and saving them. Um, they come out really, really nice and crunchy. Uh, I guess the coconut flour does not work very well baking. So remember guys, if you're gonna bake um, your wings, don't use the coconut flour. Or if you are gonna use the coconut flour, just deep fry it straight. So then it'll come out nice and golden and crispy like these. So basically I just put a towel on the bottom to get to catch the grease. I'm gonna go ahead and toss them in my pan, my bowl to mix them. I'm gonna throw my sauce that I made earlier. Flavor my wings. Toss them around. These smell so incredible with the spiciness and the, the lemongrass. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna garnish them with a little bit of lemongrass on top and some scallions that I got from the from the backyard so there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed the recipe and I'll see you guys on the next one